Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number... No, we are not doing that anymore. <laughs> That's a really good joke, Lovey. <laughs> you can see this morning that we are here with our two lovely Suzuki Van Van 125s, but it's not good news this morning. Over the past week, we have discovered that my bike has a problem. So that's why today we're going on a mission to fix it, but I'll tell you guys more about it when we hit the road. Yes, it's already 8.30 here, so better hit the road, let's go. Whoa, this is strange to have the camera on the helmet again. All right, ready to hit the road? Totally. On your own bike? Yeah. Woo! Whoa. I lead the way. Okay, here's a clue to our bike issue. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but this engine is producing like a knocking sound. It's going like click, 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 click. No, it hasn't changed just yet. <laughs> but today it will change because today we're going to fix it. Yeah, I know. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye, bye. Now, if it was just this like knocking sound i wouldn't really mind like it doesn't really bother me but i'm also getting like a loss of power so when i'm like going full throttle which for this bike is most of the time i'm basically getting the whole bike doing like a ju 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 like a jerking where the single cylinder i guess is not firing i'm not a mechanic i don't really know what's going on but those are the symptoms that this bike is presenting it's got a clicking sound and it's losing power <laughs> this is a very different experience to filling up bumblebee these tanks are absolutely tiny what's the price it's a one pound 49.9 per liter so about two dollars but yeah look there we go that is full and i filled up 3.14 liters i think that this tank is actually six liters in total and on that six liters well lavi's light is on now and she's done 97 miles so you'll get about 100 miles out of six liter tank but i think if we're going to go on a trip we're going to need spare fuel cans but i love this display here you know there's like no electronics here at all there's just like three lights and a sort of manual display it looks so retro and cool oh wait a second oh let's try again Well, this is a good start to the day, isn't it? Okay, we're on. <laughs> and we're off. Oh yeah, I haven't told you guys where we're heading today. So I don't know if you guys remember our good friend Robert who joined us for the very first ride of the trip. Made it to the end of the first day. Great ride. And the very last ride of the trip. Look who it is guys. Thanks so much Robert. <laughs> well after we told him the issues we were having with my bike he told us guys bring it over to mine and I'm going to come and take a look. So I think he knows enough about mechanics to hopefully figure out what's going on and fingers crossed we can get my bike fixed. So luckily Robert doesn't live too far away. He lives up in Leicestershire, only about 25 miles away from where we live. So I guess the first step is to see whether my bike can actually make it 25 miles over to his house. Well, hope for the best guys, hope for the best. The new adventure begins today. <laughs> God, Lavi is flying on her bike. Oh, if I'm really trying to go, like get up to 45, 50 miles an hour, then that's where I start to see the issue, especially when we're going up a hill. That's where I'm really feeling that loss of power and the bike's really kind of going like oh, oh, oh. oh no, we're going up a big hill here. Look at this. Come on, come on. There we go. Welcome to the county of Leicestershire, the heart of rural England, according to the sign. And apparently to get into this county, you have to go up a giant hill. Come on, little van van. You can do it! 82 kilometers later. 
Oh yes, here we are. This questionable engine has made it. Happy and alive! <laughs> That top's been off, hasn't it? Yeah, it looks like it has, right? I don't understand why they've taken that top off, but uh, they have. It looks like it has been touched, right? It's definitely been taken off and resealed, isn't it? You can see where the gasket goo is. It's horrible, isn't it? It's sort of all gasket, gasket gooey. You might have to take the engine out because of that bracket there, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's put it in the garage. Yes. Take it obviously in the house. Okay. Yo! So we're in the workshop of dreams now. Robert's man cave. <laughs> and what's the first thing we're going to do? Compression test. A compression test, whatever that is, <laughs> we're gonna do it. And Robert said, actually, we will do it on both bikes. Gives us a comparison <laughs> yeah. of Lavi's bike that we think is working really well. So full throttle. And then when I tell you, I'll hold it tight and you press the uh, press the starter. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. Three, two, one. Go. Right, stop. right. so we're up to. 140 PSI. Okay. Right, so now we need to check yours. Look at Ollie working with tools. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. Okay. Yeah, it got up to 10, the same, just about. Yeah, they're not that far off, are they? <laughs> anyway, so we know we've got a reasonable amount of compression. It's not Bad, so let's put that road. It's okay. not bad, hey? Okay. Bike Dr. Lavi. How's that? Can you hear a heartbeat? Is it Could gonna you... survive? So now we're going to do a tappet adjustment uh -huh. on the tappets. <laughs> so the first thing we've got to do. So the first thing we've got to do is get the engine in the right position, which is the top of the compression stroke. And there should be a hole somewhere with a mark in it. Okay. And it's inside that oh, that screw there. With the oil, is it? No. <coughs> just a hole so you can see inside. Oh, okay. That's in your top gear now. Okay. The reason you're putting top gear is because turning this now won't turn that so much. If you're in first, turning that will turn that a lot. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. We need to turn the wheel forwards like that, yeah? We need to turn the wheel forwards, yes. Okay. And we just need to, f and I need to feel these because these will open and close and that will tell us where the engine is. Okay, okay. Right? Right. So if you turn it. Yeah. Right. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Right. Now that's the inlet. So that means the piston has just gone down uh -huh. on inlet. Okay. And the next movement, okay. which is. Ah, Ooh, it's only a little bit. What we need to do now is get my torch and have a look down there. Yeah. Forward again and stop. A little yeah. bit more. A little bit more. Oh, yeah, the line is still there. It's just. Yeah, that's near enough. Now these two should be loose now. <coughs> you hear that? Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. That's this one. Is that supposed to do that? Yeah, that's your top it. That's, what call, that's why it's called a top it, because it taps. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. And they're not far off, you know, they're not. You can see a little wiggle. So it's about the same as the other one. It's like a yeah. slight wiggle. Yeah. As I say, 0.1 of a millimetre, 4 thousandths of an inch, is probably the minimum it wants to be when it's cold. Yeah. So this is called a cam chain adjuster. Okay, well, what are we doing with this now? We're going to take it out. We're going to take, take it, it out. out. Okay. We'll have a look at it. Okay. okay. And the cam chain, is that the one that is opening and closing the valves and everything? Correct. Right, that's going round. So how's that looking now? Yeah, that seems alright. Definitely uh, free, it's moving. Okay, so after Having a look at a few things relating to the very top of the engine, Robert has come to the conclusion that we are going to have to take out the engine and do a bit of a deeper dive to find out what's going on because we haven't really seen anything so far that's indicating that like this is the issue. So we're just moving some bikes around and it's time to take this engine out. But anyway, whatever the issue is, I'm sure we're going to learn something on the way. And isn't that the most important thing? 
So do you think with this trusty socket set that we can take apart this bike? Absolutely. I like that confidence. That's how much fuel was in there. So empty tank now, which is good. Now we can take the tank off and then get onto the engine. Simple things. The fish go. always swims forward. Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Yes. Fine. Easy. So what you're saying is you want to turn this bike into a plane. Okay. Come on, give me some. Yeah! Where was this bolt from? <laughs> just on the ground? Yeah. No. Good, good look. I'm taking my eye out. Oh. Gone. It's gonna come forwards and down. Okay. But only it can only go forwards that much because it's gonna yeah. hit the framework. Okay, yeah, I see you. Okay. Yeah, it, it looks good on my side. Yeah, perfect, no problem. Lay it right down now. Okay. Just make okay. sure it doesn't catch at the back now. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so we lay it down. It's not gonna catch at the back, no? No, no, looks good. Looks good. good, good, good looks good. good. It's actually just missing it. Good. It was just missing it. Ah, oh, you got the engine out! <laughs> perfect! <laughs> 300 quid on eBay now. Oh, sell it. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> Untested. Good job, sweetheart. Good job. Oh, your hands are so black. <laughs> Good job, Robert. <laughs> Wait, show me your hands compared to mine. <laughs> that looks like working hands. Yeah, well, I don't know what that hand's looking uh, like. Uh, my hands aren't very dirty, are they? <laughs> Three, two, one. Yeah. Okay. Doki. Artichokey! Woo! See, I got a bit of dirt on my hands now. <laughs> Ooh. Easy. Na, 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 na. What do I need? This uh, one here. An extension and the, and the little ratchet. And this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> a little bit on each one. So a little bit on each one. Well, now do the next one. Okay, they're all. Now he's gone around every one. A little bit, yeah. He's gone around every one. Every one. Two, three. What about that one. <gasps> you see? Oh, I've done it all, I've done it all! Oh. <laughs> are we sure these are all the bolts? Just give it a bit of percussive maintenance. Percussive maintenance! Oh. <laughs> yeah, there you go! Oh my god, look how it wow. looks! These, these are your tappets. Oh! Yeah. That's what turns your... Uh, camshaft which yep. is this thing here yep. uh -huh. around and around yep that's the chain tensioner there isn't it correct you're learning we drop that on the floor now okay. yep it's loose oh. there you wow. go that's your issue i've worked it out just needs a cylinder head <gasps> three two one just a small amount well, now I go, now I go across the corner. Who knew that a rattle was a tool of the trade, <laughs> hey? That's a very gentle hammer. Oh yeah, hopefully. Oh! Yeah, it's got to go straight. Oh, keep going. There you go. <clears throat> right, so another is... piece off the engine. Oh, look at this. Whoa. Bang! Bang! The valve goes up and down. Suck! Suck. Squeeze. Squeeze. Bang. bang. <laughs> Does a bang and blow. Correct. There you go, guys. That's how it works. That's how the valve works. That's the piston. That's the piston. <laughs> That's how the piston <laughs> works. And so. it looks all right, eh? Doesn't look bad at all. The, the barrel looks very, very good condition. Yeah. Right, lift it straight up. Whoa, here we go. No, there's no play in that at all. Is it good or bad? Well, for finding the problem, it's bad because it doesn't. Because there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> How is that possible? 
I don't understand. So it's not rattling around or nothing. <clears throat> well, that's the big end. Yep. And this mm -hmm. is the little end. Yep. Mm -hmm. And if there was play, I would be able to feel, and you would probably be able to hear, yeah. making a, a, a lot of noise. But there is no play in that at all. Oh. So I'm going to be looking underneath the sides now. Okay. Give it a wiggle. Oh, here we go. Whoa! Oh, my God, there's a lot of stuff going on in there. Wow! Is this the clutch? Yeah. Oh. Give me that. Is something loose? <laughs> okay, so we have run out of time for today, and we still have yet to find any issue every part that we're taking apart robert's having a look at it he's checking if there's play in it he's checking if it's rattling and everything looks in really good condition and we can't find anything wrong with this engine so far which is maybe a good thing maybe a bad thing i don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's good to see what you don't need to change but we still don't know what we need to change so we're going to reconvene later on in the week so stay where you are engine we've got round two coming up soon thank you so much robert no problem we'll get you there. are our hero don't Time. forget, righty tighty, lefty loosey. <laughs> I promise you by the end, when we put everything back together, we will get it, hey?